Success. Yes. It is a success. Yeah. The car and the player are connected. Oh, come, come and hug me. Come and hug me. <laughs> uh, come and hug me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of no ages, I am title pending. And this is a the vlog. This is a process, a video process of showing us how we're actually making two types of content, a series for multiplayer and a actual multiplayer game where we're going to uh, try to get it out there and see what happens. So that's the video you're going to see. Again, this is more of a vlog. It's not really a tutorial. However, uh, if you do watch this, you're going to see two guys work really hard together to get a car actually in a multiplayer game. Uh, the other thing too, as the title came to me later, this the topic today is actually using free assets and getting them into a game engine. I know some of you were a little upset with the uh, last video I did related to a storefront. So uh, this video is more of just showing uh, what can be done with free assets. Uh, this is part one. The second video is a lot better. So let's get started, okay? I am joined with Grief Chief, the coder, the person who saved my bacon the last project in a lot of ways. And we got to talking about multiplayer like actually doing multiplayer in Godot. In fact, our last project that we're working on was a multiplayer project. And now that, well, we're kind of getting finished and wrapping up that project, I thought like, okay, look, maybe we should start doing some multiplayer Godot tutorials. I've seen a need for it. I've seen people wanting it. I've also been a person who wanted to do multiplayer and then was talked out of it many times, which then I ironically made a multiplayer game with Grief Chief, Alexander. Okay, is it... <laughs> Is there is there anything you'd like to add to this intro? Hello, kids. <laughs> Again, that is like a saying meaning everyone. Okay. <laughs> uh, I I also forgot to do a sound check, so hopefully the sound is a lot better, and you can actually hear them because I'm recording them this time. Uh, in the original intro. I did want to say this, and I'll say it again. I think he is one of the most brilliant, intelligible people related to multiplayer. Multiplayer is a bit complex, and he has been able to find lots of solutions and answers last project, and he even had some extra solutions and answers for another project, and here we are. Uh, what we're oh, what are we doing right here? Where did where did we borrow this MIT licensed Godot file? So. This is a really nice uh, car project by a guy named Nate Bastian. So thank you, Bastian. And I'm going to be stealing it. Uh, emulating. Uh, yeah, borrowing, you know, sharing and adding it into my own project um, that happens to be multiplayer. I don't think this is multiplayer, but that's the idea, you know, to quickly try to add this into a project that, that's already existing. So, you know, so that we can get the car physics that are actually really nice. So I'll, I'll run the game again. Oh, <laughs> that's the thing. This Okay, this is the wrong project. Just a second. We also found so, that it's AR VR ready. We're yeah, not AR VR ready. But it's this really is really cool. So I guess I should make it full screen. So yeah, it's a really nice project actually, and I I also really like the car physics. So yeah, that's the that's what I'm doing. That is so cool. We're we're pretending we didn't do this already. Yeah, it's it's actually you know the second time we're doing this right now. It's actually more nerve wracking than the first time. You know, re trying not to repeat yourself, I guess. So. Oh, yeah, we are trying to repeat ourselves. <laughs> now, now I'm getting goosebumps. I didn't to... get it before. This is really cool. Like, so I didn't see the car wheels move the first time we played it because uh, the original demo is in third person. You know, because dr a driving game should be in third person. Only crazy people drive first person. <laughs> I, mean... well, it's, it's... I like it. It's more. Um... It's more fun, I think. I mean, third person. I'm, o I'm okay with. I'm okay with first first person if you can churn your head. 
Okay, you know what I mean? If you can, like, I love the game, driving games, where I have a rear view mirror, and I can actually, like, look in the rear view mirror to see what's behind me. I love that feeling of real uh, realism. Um, and it's interesting because, I mean, you know, cyber, Cyberpunk, they ended up caving. They wanted the entire experience to be first person, but people were having so so much a hard time driving, they had to go third person. So it's the oh, only... they, have, they have some really naughty first person stuff. Oh, the car is moving. That's good. That's where, cool. Where the he where the heck did you get this Godot robot? This oh, that's this the thing? power of that's the power of um, Godot, man. This is all basically Godot assets or stuff that I'm just meshing together. <laughs> oh no, the car, the car, the car is going down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, there are actually two cars if you take a look at it. Oh no, okay, so bo both cars are in roughly the same position now, but oh, wow. obviously, you know, I still didn't add the... <laughs> I still did not add the multiplayer code for it, so it's kind of like two cars in two different worlds, you know, two different universes, so... I hope this isn't unfair, but I do find this robot funny. Like this is Five Nights of Freddy yeah. funny, man. This thing would it's give me a horror. <laughs> I want to thank whoever did this robot. Don't get me wrong, but I mean, come on, right? I mean... <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it's it's a. Who was it again? Was this? Well, let me check. Who did it? I'm I'm curious now. Is it if, Bastion again? I don't think it is. If I make but, a if I make terrible, I'm not saying this robot's terrible. But if I make something that looks weird or funny, uh, I golden. hope they. Okay, so thank you, Golden. <laughs> yeah, thank. Oh, Gold. Golden did this. Oh my God. Okay, okay, yeah, never you mind. Okay. Do you know him? I know some of the other stuff he's done. I haven't. I don't know him for 3D stuff though. I've seen him for 2D stuff, not 3D stuff. So. Okay. So. Okay. So all we are colliding with the. Car, so that's good. Oh, that's good. That. So now comes the hard part, which is I somehow have to enter into the car. Then we have a robot in the car, and then we can uh, <sighs> we can do things. Oh we my god, this is so. You don't under. Do you understand how funny this looks? I mean, this is great, man. I just You're love like how the car is just like bumping. The robot's bumping the car. It just looks. So... Yeah, well, I can also jump on the. On the car. I don't know. Oh, I this is. The car. I, I get kind of get what you're saying. Yeah, it's ray trace, right? Are you talking about ray tracing and calculating where the the contact well, point would be? Not ray tracing, but I mean like projecting a ray into the into the physics engine. The ray then sees what it's intersecting with, and if it's you see this line of code here, so you you. You, in, you project a array into the physics, you see if it's hitting something, and then if the result is, I, if the ray hits something, then you check what it hit. If it hit the car, then we want to enter the car, basically. That's, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're looking at that code here, you see? Here is the uh, wait, ray so, cast. Yeah. And then the if checks if you hit something, and if you hit something, then you. Well, this is the shooting script, so it's checking if you hit another player. So you're working on on trying to get into the vehicle right now, correct? Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at this. So, okay, okay. here okay. comes. Here, here goes, comes. Here goes. Here goes. <laughs> well, that wasn't expected. Why did this but, happen? What but, 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 hold on. Here's a success. Here's okay. a success. Oh, yeah. That's actually a success. Is this a success? Yeah. It is a success. Yeah. The car I'm and the player fire. are connected. Oh, come, come and hug me. Come and hug me. <laughs> uh, come and hug me. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh. oh, no. Oh, my God. This oh. Says, we're awesome. We're awesome robots. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is so cool. Oh, you pushed him through the wall. There's no collision on the wall. Well, okay, so why did the, when did I disable the, the collision disabler? Like, how did I do now that? Now we can see how messed up the driving was. Remember before? This is what I wanted. Now we can see how awful the... You know, yeah, remember, like, like, the... <laughs> I'm 
now confused as to why is it happening. <laughs> All right. So. I, I have like a I have a morning off if you want to keep working on this, but your call. Yeah, well, like it's gonna take me like two minutes hopefully. So yeah, let's two minutes try. later. This is this is like the yeah. one more game, the one more game problem, and then you're up till ten. So you see, 12. like this should have been disabled, but maybe it's not disabled on the original or something. Like, I think the cars might be like influencing each other or something. Wait, you mean there's no, two, no, the two no, cars? No, 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 the server. I didn't, I didn't disable the collision shape on the server. I only disabled it on the client, but the car is technically a server side controlled by the server, I guess. Because of the host? I don't even know. No, it's not. Well, wait, wait, let me back up. <laughs> it's not related to the host then? What do you mean? Like you're saying, it was server side. So there's there's the host because like our server's not like the players aren't connecting. Sync function disable. Ah, let's keep this to remote. Let's go master. Let's try master. Disable <laughs> collision shape. Okay. Fine. That works. So now we need to RPC unreliable. No, this has to be a reliable call. No, no, no. RPC ID. No, I just want to RPC. RPC. So this is how you call the networking. The function on another player or on the server. Or yeah, this is on the server. Let's call it. To, uh, let's just. Let's do it. Let's hack and call it on everybody for now. I don't just to avoid fun stuff. So disable collision shape. Okay, yeah. Awesome. So then I can just do the funny thing and call it again, disable collision shape. So I guess I guess this is fine now. And if we're lucky, it's going to work. And if it doesn't, well, at least, like, it's really close. And that's all we need, right? Uh, we have a second video that I am working on right now that's going to show you where we're at. It's got a lot of the cool texturing. Uh, the the drive mechanics are working. Uh, it's pretty sweet, and that's going to be coming up. And it's about seven minutes. We kind of just did it in one shot. So, again, if you have any questions, I know there's a lot of editing. It's really bad editing. It feels like Pulp Fiction or a Quentin Tarantino movie. If there's any specific part of that you saw and you do want to see more or you want to you know, ask questions on what we're doing as far as programming-wise, please put that in the comments below. And yes, we haven't forgot about you lovely C-sharp people. It's just a lot of the, the uh, reference material and research material that we're using is in GD script, but we are, we are planning to convert all the stuff that we're doing to C-sharp. It just may take us a very long time. Insert catchy phrase here. I hope to see you in the next one. Again, if there's anything we can do to help, you know what to do, put those comments below. And if you did like this video, you know what else to do. Hit that like button, maybe hit that subscribe button, maybe hit the dislike button. If there's something you dislike, I can't believe I'm encouraging that. Oh, and if you did dislike something, also put that in the comments below. That's pretty shameless. I'm Tattle Penning. I will see you hopefully in part two. Bye.